Hi everybody, I'm Renee, staff PT at the Kirk Center for Healthy Living. Um, today I want to show you how to dry brush. So I give dry brushing as homework to a lot of people and I can't always find good resources to share with people so that they know the routine to do at home. So I just want to give you a little background info and then I'll show you my routine. My routine is combined with um, it's a routine that I combined traditional dry brushing and a little bit of lymphatic draining uh, techniques that I have learned throughout my PT career. So first of all, you'll need a dry brushing brush or gloves. So this is what a dry brushing brush looks like. You can get this at places like Walmart, Target, Walgreens, CVS, um, Amazon. Uh, it will literally say dry brush on it. So usually they are in the bath section with like loofahs and um, other shower brushes, but this brush will say on the packaging dry brushing. People also use gloves for dry brushing. So these are made out of um, raw silk and they're kind of nice if you have any hand problems where you, you don't want to hold a brush for 10 minutes. Um, these are really nice. So this is, these are gloves. I ordered these online from a um, Ayurvedic uh, practitioner. Um, so you can have gloves or a brush. They also make brush with like a handle, but um, if you have like trouble holding or gripping, this is nice because you can just use it as a flat hand or gloves are nice because you don't have to grip anything at all. Okay, um, so what do you need to know about dry brushing? Traditionally, dry brushing is done once a day um, to the body. If you learn the face techniques, that's less often, but that's a side note. Um, so once a day, traditionally done before showering or bathing. So dry brushing is done dry. You don't do this in the shower, you do this before a shower. You would also be nude, obviously. I'm not gonna be nude today, but you get the idea. So dry brushing done with your body and skin dry, no lotion, don't shave before you do it, don't take a shower before you do it, don't do it in the shower, dry brushing. Um, also, you'll be nude, okay? Um, what else do you need to know? In each location, we're going to do 10 to 20 strokes. This whole routine should take you about five minutes. So I don't want it to be something where you're like, oh, I only leave myself 30 minutes to get ready in the morning and now I have to do this huge dry brushing routine. Keep it short and sweet so that you don't avoid doing it. Um, the more often it's done, the better. Um, what else here? So dry brushing is done to help clear the lymphatic system. So the lymph system flows to the heart. It's separate from arteries and veins, but it does dump its contents into veins. And the lymphatic uh, job is moving um, stuff that we need to remove from the body. So if it's environmental toxins, toxins from things that we have eaten or put on our body, like face, uh, cosmetic products for face hair, um, laundry, that type of thing. Some people are very sensitive to those things. Some people aren't. And you might be like, well, what are you talking about, Renee? Well, don't worry about it then. Um, this is done um, for breast health. So these, uh, if you've ever noticed like breast tenderness, um, sometimes it's cyclical with your menstrual cycle, but sometimes this area can be lymphatically congested. You're like, gosh, that doesn't feel comfortable. This could help um, keep that area of uh, the fluid moving. So it's not just something to do one time and then say, well, that didn't help. This is um, a preventative, like a maintenance program. So you wanna do this regularly, daily if possible. Um, so I'm gonna run through my routine. Like I mentioned, it's traditional dry brushing combined with lymph drainage. Um, each spot, five to 10 strokes. We're pushing everything towards the heart. We clear, the areas going from proximal to distal. So if I'm going to be moving fluid to my chest, I'm clearing my chest first. Okay. Um, so this is my routine. Start with it 
If you've got a way to make it a little more efficient for yourself, that's fine. If there's certain body parts that you would prefer to focus on, that's fine. But you must clear your chest before you start moving other fluid towards the chest. So that's really important. So here's my routine. Um, and I'm gonna move my chair and I'm gonna be standing for the whole routine. I'm starting with the chest and I'm starting on the left. So this is my left here, okay? Brushing towards the heart. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. Right side towards the heart. Good. Moving on to an upper arm. Ten strokes. I like to get that back side of the arm. Every lady loves what the back side of their arms looks like. Go right through the underarm. Same thing, you're just bringing it all towards the heart. There's a lot of lymph nodes in your underarm, as you know. Lower arm. I go right below my wrist because I work with my hands and my thumbs get sore. So I do my hands as well. Some small circles on the wrist. Um, some small circles on the joints, so I'm going up to elbow. Small circles on the shoulder. Good. Right side, same idea, 10 strokes. I go right through the underarm, get those underarm lymph nodes. This is the axilla. So you don't want to have any deodorant on yet. Don't shave your underarms yet. No lotion. Some small circles at the wrist. So I'm right-handed and right now I'm using my left hand with the brush. It's not pretty. It's not really circles. It's just like an, a little more invigorating stroke around the joints. If you follow true dry brushing, sometimes they say skip the whole breast area. I'm okay with doing the breast area. Keep it really light though. Breast tissue and the skin on the breast is, is tender and it's thinner. So keep your strokes really light. So I cover up my nipple area and I brush towards the heart. I do the same thing on the right. I also go under and around. Do the same on the other side. Good, so we've got the chest and the arms. Moving on to the abdomen, starting in small circles around the belly button. We're gonna go in both directions, so whatever direction you start in, just remember what direction you went. Some medium circles around the belly button. Some large circles around the belly button. Reverse your circles, small circles, opposite direction. I'm doing 10. You could do more if you have more time. Some medium circles. And some large circles. Good, so what I know about the abdomen, I've added on a few more strokes. So from the belly button up, I brush up towards the heart again. I'm going along the rib cage, over the stomach, the upper small intestine, the gallbladder, the liver, the spleen, our visceral organs, most of them also have a lymphatic system within themselves. So we want to clear that as well. 
Then I also brush out to the side. down, I brush down towards the groin. We all know we have lymph nodes in the groin. We have a whole network in the front. So I'm pushing some fluid down towards those lymph nodes. And now I'm going out to the sides again. Same thing, other side. And then I like to go up the side 10 times. Good, so we have the chest, the abdomen. I wanna do a little bit of back before we move on to lower body. So for me, it's tough to reach my own back. This is a time having one with a handle would be nice. But I do what I can with this and it seems to work just fine. So from the shoulder, I'm going out to the sides. Same thing on the other side. I do the best I can along my side. I like to come out. And I'm just going along the whole low back and as high up as I can reach along my rib cage here. Same thing on the other side, doing the best you can. Everybody loves this area right along the broad strap. So sometimes I spend a little extra time through here just trying to make sure I can get any fluid out of the bra strap area that I can. Good. All right. I like to start with the glutes before I move to the legs. So again, with the glutes, I go up towards the heart. And I do a little up and out as well. And again, this is just a lymphatic pattern that I have seen over the hips and the glutes that I want to include in my routine. Up towards the hip. And up and out. Good, let's go on to the legs. Clearing the thighs before we move on. So we're going up towards the hip. The legs are pretty resilient, so you can be a little rougher. But, you know, inner thigh tissue, pretty tender. So keep it light where you need it light. I'm going right up the back side of my thighs, right up to the glutes. Um, dry brushing is said to help with cellulite. So, if you have cellulite and you notice any differences after um, incorporating some dry brushing regularly into your life, Please let me know. Same thing on the back side. Moving on to the lower legs. I get some swelling in my feet and my ankles, so I go right below the ankles. Same thing on the other side. And then I do the same little small circle routine over joints. So I'm gonna start at ankles. The knees. Hip. 
Same thing on the right, little small circles at the ankle. Small circles at the knee. Small circles at the hip. Voila, that's my dry brushing routine. So feel free to give this a try, get yourself a brush, and try incorporating a little dry brushing before your shower regularly. Like I said, this isn't a, I tried it one time and I didn't magically have no cellulite, or I didn't have less tender breasts. This is something that if you do it regularly, it should help things keep moving consistently and hopefully you'll have some less tenderness, um, maybe less swelling, maybe a better functioning lymphatic system. So thank you very much. Please feel free to contact us with questions about dry brushing, at least my version of dry brushing, and um, I hope it helps you. Thank you.